everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have for you another thrift haul. I hate myself. I go shopping at the thrift stores a lot, clearly, because I have another haul for you, and I still have other hauls lined up. But anyways, I thought I'd just share these items with you guys before I wash them. So the two stores that I went to that I'll be showing you items from are from Goodwill and, oh gosh, The Salvation Army. Okay, I think I got the thumbnail. So this is another $100 spent at the thrift store. I hope you enjoy. So let me just show you the first things I got from Goodwill. I got a lot of band t-shirts this time around because I found a lot. So I have this Ramones rock and roll t-shirt. It has their tag on here. I love finding band t-shirts at the thrift store because like there's a high chance that they could be vintage. But at the same time, I'm confused whether they are vintage or if they're just like another store making the band's shirt, if that makes sense. Like if they're just like a coal selling a band's t-shirt or it's from Forever 21 and not the original concert and stuff. Do I listen to the Ramones? No, but if I ever wear this, I will definitely listen to their songs before I do. That way, I won't be a faker. By the way, speaking of bands, if you know who this is, then comment down below. This is a pool and bear exercise jacket thing. I got it because over this past weekend, I actually went on a Spartan race. Surprise, surprise. I look weak as freak, but I went on a Spartan race. I just realized I didn't really have that much exercise clothing, especially for weather that is colder. And so I thought this would be perfect for me. And it's completely fitted. It's a size small. And I think that'd be really flattering. I'm excited to wear this to the gym. Just so you know, a majority of these items I will be reselling on my Poshmark, Vinted, and Depop. So keep a lookout for those. You can follow me on my Instagram where I kind of update you guys. <laughs> kind of. I'm trying to be more proactive on my Instagram, but it's a process. That's where I'll show you guys some of the little hauls and thrifting things I go to and share with you when I do upload new listings on my my reselling site so that's exciting so yeah don't think i'm keeping all this in my closet because i definitely cannot keep all these clothing in there the next item i got i got to resell these are just some sam edelman sandals and i know this is a great brand they sell pretty well and this is still in really good condition despite the fact that the bottoms are a little bit worn but not very much they still look pretty good nothing is really missing and i think it's a great sandal for summer for anyone who wants to look cute and show off their little toenails this next item is like a surprise a tip when you're going shopping at the thrift store is to check the little rack where people put their returns after going to the dressing room because most likely they have already rummaged through the whole store and they found some really key cute items and decide not to get some and put it back and so you have more likelihood of finding some cool items without having to dig through the whole store because someone already did it for you if that makes sense so over there i found i saw this really bright pink thing and i thought it looked really cute with the lace and i went to see the tag and it's a victoria's secret and yes it's a victoria's secret little uh, size small night gown thing it's really cute and really scandalous. I wish I had the boobs to fill us out. I definitely do not, but I'm sure someone else does. And it's cool because it also crisscrosses in the back. There's also a trend. I know that you could layer like little lace things over t-shirts. So this could be used for that, but I think it should be used for its purpose as a nightgown. <laughs> Moving back to t-shirts, I saw this shirt and I thought it looked really cool and I read it and I think it's a concert or tour of Pierce the Veil and Sleeping with Sirens, which is really cool. And so I guess they went on tour together and they made this really Cool graphic, this is 20, 2014. This still looks pretty good, as if the person didn't really use it too much, and it has the tour dates in the back. I thought this would be an awesome shirt for someone to wear to commemorate their memories of going to tour. Another t-shirt I got, I just thought was pretty funny. It's a play on Supreme. I just thought it looked really cool and funny. It's just a Nike dry fit t-shirt. I just really like the periwinkle color, and this was actually priced as a children's shirt, so it was only a dollar. This next shirt I got, I actually know the band, Gorillaz. This brings me back to my childhood in the early 2000s. Even though I was a little bit small, but I just remember one of their songs was on this little disco CD we had and we played a lot when we were little. Pretty cool, pretty classic. I need to get back into listening to the music because such a throwback. Another t-shirt is this Guns N' Roses one. I think my mom gave me a Guns N' Roses t-shirt a while back and I sold it and I kind of regret selling it because it was really nice and really cute. So I'm trying to find a nice one again for the third story. I, just, I sold it because I don't really listen to the music so I didn't want to be a fake fan, but it looked like a legit band tee. It was a legit band tee, but nonetheless, I found this one. Just says Guns N' Roses. It's a classic band t-shirt. This next item is a pair of leggings and they're Nike leggings. They're a size small, which would fit me. <laughs> okay. Um, the only thing is they're a little bit worn. Just looking at the material, they have little cutouts. I thought it's still in good condition besides all of that. And I am going to get a peeling machine. I keep saying that in all my hauls. Hopefully by the summer I'll have that video eventually <laughs> uploaded. Yeah, I just got these. I really am in need of better leggings that will actually fit me. I realized a lot of my leggings are a little bit too big, so there's like a little bit of a, a slight sag. 
and I had to keep one up. So this is a size small, so hopefully these actually fit me well. If they don't, then they're going to be resold. Continuing with the Nike trend is another pair of Nike leggings. These ones are Capri, and I like that these ones are actually high-waisted. Um, this one also has a little bit of pilling. Um, it has this interesting cutout details along the waist, as well as... Actually, just that's it on the waist, but I just know the material itself is very quality. It's a size small. I'm assuming they were donated by the same person. I think it's still in great condition, so I'm excited to wear this. And the last Nike item I have for you is this long sleeve fitted one. This is actually an extra small. It's a Nike little running jacket, I think. But it's just that nice material. I think this would be great to wear to another Spartan race, but go and get the trifecta. Probably not in the near future, but once again, it's another motivation for me to wear to the gym, update my gym clothing. I have a lot of oversized clothing for the gym, which is not bad, but I feel like I need, I need to wear things that are my size. This next item, I actually saw this skirt a couple weeks back. I didn't buy it because there are some issues with it. Um, first of all, there's a, I didn't even notice this. <laughs> there's a little stain here. But anyways, this just reminds me of the American Apparel um, pleated skirts. I think it's a classic shape that anyone would like. It does need to be ironed because the ruffles itself are a little bit off-center, if that makes sense. And this definitely is, will be too short for me, but I know someone else will enjoy this. And it's got to fix it up and it'll be brand new. And this week, since I didn't buy it originally, it was $5.49, but I got it for a dollar this time around. So I'm just glad I didn't buy it for a full. This next skirt, it caught my eye because of the pattern. And so I looked at it, it looked like, <laughs> it felt like good material. And it's actually by J. Crew, and it's black label J. Crew, so that's pretty cool. And it's still in great condition. I just think it's really cute. A very nice pinstripe skirt for summer or spring or for any occasion really. And this is a size 8. This next item I found in the lingerie area. I think whoever placed it there mistook it for lingerie. Because it's actually a dress. And at first I was attracted to it because of the pattern itself. But then I saw the tag and it's by Toby. It's been a long time since I've heard of Toby. And it's just this really cute wrap dress. It's unwrapped right now so you can't really tell how nice it looks. It's a size large. I wish it was smaller than I would consider keeping it. I'm not doing it any justice, but here it is. This next skirt reminds you of the trend of the animal print skirts, uh, midi skirts. This one is 100% silk and it's just this really mod pattern. I don't know how to describe it. From far away it kind of looks like animal, but <laughs> it's not. It's by Ink Petite International. It's a size 8P and I just really love the material because it is silk. It's very smooth. And I like the length of it. It's a mini skirt. It's a little bit flirty and I think this would be fun to style. This last item I got because I just thought it was really cute. It's a Forever 21 jacket, a dinner jacket, with cherries all over it and it's in great condition. I don't gravitate towards jeans jackets, but I just think they're super cute. This would pair well with a white dress or something for the summer. This is how much I spent. Am I proud of this? No, definitely not. Luckily I have a job. Luckily. <laughs> That doesn't excuse the fact that I'm spending this money. I need a, I need a lesson to spend. So that was everything I got at the Goodwill. <sighs> Moving on to Salvation Army. Today, it was the start of their Memorial Day weekend. So if you haven't gone yet, you can check out your local thrift store. The whole store is supposed to be 50% off. At least the ones in SoCal. Not sure anywhere else, but definitely check it out. And so this is the damage I did say. <laughs> Not as much as the Goodwill, but still a little bit. I'm pretty sure they gave me a lot more discounts than I actually was supposed to get. Usually I always calculate everything before I spend just so I have an idea of where I'm at and that way I'm not surprised when I get to the counter and I'm spending over so much amount. Total came down to a lot lower than what I expected and he gave me a military discount. Memorial oh Memorial Day weekend makes sense I guess. It's a new with tags jacket it's by it's called Bagatelle that's the brand. It's originally from TJ Maxx but I just really thought the jacket was really nice it felt really smooth and buttery. It's a very nice classic leather looking jacket i found these nice oxford looking shoes or loafers actually they are by giorgio Brun bruntini they look brand new like never been worn but yeah they just look like this there's a lot to gain from selling reselling men's shoes i'm still getting familiar with the brands that are worth more but i thought this would be another great start the next pair of shoes is just by steve madden but it's a classic pair of black booties and they just look like this they have a cutout there are some little marks at the back, but if, I think if I just brush them out, then it should go away. But yeah, they're still in great condition, have barely been worn, and I think everyone is always looking for a nice pair of classic boots. Once again, I fell into the trap of buying a lot of t-shirts, but I think they're really cute. <laughs> I have a lot of DIYing I want to do, so 
first shirt I got is another band shirt and it's the Beatles and this shirt is by the brand Junk Food. So I just like the yellow color and the Beatles, they're a classic. Who doesn't love a Beatles song? You tell me. Another t-shirt I found, it's very 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 huge but look at this cat. What an artwork. And this is actually by, it's called Skeezy by Wild Hair. 1993. Here is just a vintage Nike one. Planning on cropping this and wearing it to the gym. I really love the material. It's very soft and worn in. Another vintage shirt is this one. It reminded me of Brandy Melville a little bit, but the pattern or the front it just says Los Angeles, California. It's already crackled, been lived in, but this one's freaking huge. Um, planning to crop this as well. This next shirt I was supposed to put back, but I decided to get it at the end. It's a Stranger Things burn burnout t-shirt. I just really like the burnout detailing and I actually did, I actually do watch Stranger Things. This next shirt is another vintage shirt. It says Hershey's Chocolate World, and that in itself is really cool to me. Not sure where they got it, if they went to the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, whatever. But I just think it's a really cool font. This next vintage t-shirt is by The Mountain. So this one just has a pattern of dolphins. This one is actually by John Galt, so brand new metal. And at first I saw it, I saw this little shark and I thought that was cute. I saw the back and it says, Why Me Shark Resort, Why Me Bay, Ohio. Probably said that all wrong, but I thought that was really cute. And I saw the tag, John Galt. I always tend to find at least one brand new metal item at this thrift store, which is pretty cool. Okay, these next two items are sleepwear items. This first one I found hiding in the t-shirts. Tori Secrets, little baby doll blouse. This is really cute. Yep, I found another black uh, vintage Victoria's Secret because the tag was the vintage But I didn't end up getting it because the bottom hem was a little- It was a raw hem, which it wasn't supposed to be, so I decided to pass on it This next one I also found in the tank top area But I really like the little lettuce trim it has It's 100% silk nightgown and this is by August Moon 100% silk, size medium I just think it's really cute and simple. You can even layer this over a t-shirt like this. This one is a cream sweater. It's just a nice classic cable knit sweater. I know it's not sweater season, but it's always good to prepare. And the last item I got from Salvation Army are <laughs> these pair of jean shorts. This reminds me of middle school when the trend of birthing a mom jeans and cutting them and tie-dyeing them and putting studs was a thing. Why did I buy it? I... It's a vintage piece at this point. Has the trend retired? Probably, but I think these are still pretty cool, so I picked them up. <laughs> That was my whole haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what was your favorite thing I found or any of your recent favorite thrift finds. I'd love to know. Please subscribe if you want to see more thrift hauls. I always go thrifting. Check out my Poshmark, Vinted, or Depop if you're interested in any of these items. Check out my Instagram if you want to see me style thrifted items or just to know when I upload new things on my reselling sites. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye, mom. Bye. <laughs>